Hey friends, welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about how to turn written content into spoken words using the latest text-to-speech technology. Los geht's! My name is Dustin, I'm an IT project manager from Germany. On this channel we create content that helps us to be more productive, to learn new things, especially languages and to live a happier and more fulfilling life. In this video we're going to explore the world of text-to-speech and the various tools available for converting written text into spoken words. We demonstrate the different options available for generating natural sounding speech from written text. To give you a better understanding of these tools we use a or part of a chat GPT story that we created in one of our earlier videos as an example. We'll be showcasing three of the most popular text-to-speech tools, Natural Reader, Speechify and Speech Studio by Microsoft Asia. Finally, we'll demonstrate how to enhance the audio quality of text-to-speech output using Adobe Enhanced Speech. So sit back and enjoy the ride as we delve into the exciting world of text-to-speech. But before we start, a nice sip of coffee. Los geht's. First of all, text-to-speech or TTS with AI works by converting written text into spoken words. It uses a combination of natural language processing, NLP, and speech synthesis to accomplish this task. The process typically works in the following way. First, text analysis. The written text is analyzed to understand its structure and meaning. This includes breaking down the text into individual words and sentences and identifying punctuation and other elements. Second, text normalization. The text is transformed into a format that can be easily processed by the TTS system. This may involve converting abbreviations, numbers and symbols into their written out form. Third, text to phonemes. The normalized text is then translated into phonemes which are the basic sounds or the basic units of sounds in a language. This step uses a database of pronunciation rules and language models to determine the correct pronunciation of each word. Fourth, speech synthesis. The phonemes are combined and synthesized into speech using a speech synthesis engine. And this engine may use concatenative synthesis which stitches together recordings of individual sound or format synthesis, which generates speech using mathematical models. Whew, this one was complicated. Okay, five, audio output. The generated speech is outputted as either an audio file or played directly through the computer speakers. AI-powered TTS systems are constantly improving and evolving, but there's still room for improvement in terms of naturalness and expressiveness compared to human speech. Nevertheless, TTS is a valuable tool for enabling people to listen to written content such as books, articles and websites. And there are several types of text-to-speech tools available, including browser extensions, websites and software applications. In this video, we will focus on websites mainly. So all the tools have a more or less similar feature set. You can choose between voices and languages and you can also change the pitch, the tone or the speed. And most also offer the ability to convert the audio into a mp3 file or a WAV file and download it. Okay, let's start. So this is Natural Reader. Let me quickly increase the size a bit. Okay, perfect. And I've pasted a part of the story here and we will also listen to the same part of the story everywhere else. This is only the test version, so I can't do too much and I can't download it. In theory, you would be able to, but yeah, in that case I can't. So this is the plus voice, so those are way better than the free voices. Let's listen to it. Il était une fois, en terre du milieu, au moment de Noël, que la neige recouvrait tout le paysage d'un manteau blanc. Les feux de cheminée crépitaient dans les maisons et l'odeur des biscuits de Noël flottait dans l'air. Cependant, la paix de cette nuit de Noël était perturbée par un étrange bruit qui résonnait dans les bois. Le héros de cette histoire, un guerrier intrépide du nom de Aragorn, décida de partir à sa recherche, ne laissant pas la peur lui faire perdre la tête. Not too bad, I would say, right? For an auto-generated file, or that's, yeah, I would say quite impressive. Okay, next one, Asia Cognitive Services Speech Studio. So this one is from Microsoft and it has been kind of, yeah, 
hard to set it up and it's a bit more technical uh, well a bit nah, it's way more technical than the other stuff and you can also use it uh, for more complex topics like uh, auto generating voice with an API and stuff so yeah but nevertheless let's listen to it okay generating il était une fois en terre du milieu au moment de noël que la neige recouvrait tout le paysage d'un manteau blanc les feux de cheminée crépitaient dans les maisons et l'odeur des biscuits de noël flottait dans l'air cependant la paix de cette nuit de noël était perturbée par un étrange bruit qui résonnait dans les bois le héros de cette histoire, un guerrier intrépide du nom de Aragorn, décida de partir à sa recherche, ne laissant pas la peur lui faire perdre la tête. Really nice, also with the intonation and the pauses it does, so I'm quite impressed. I don't know which one I like better, so the natural reader or uh, the cognitive speech services, but yeah, let's look at the last one now. Okay, now let's have a look at Speechify, which has a really clean interface. So it's pretty easy and uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's listen to the output. Il était une fois, en terre du milieu, au moment de Noël, que la neige recouvrait tout le paysage d'un manteau blanc. Les feux de cheminée crépitaient dans les maisons et l'odeur des biscuits de Noël flottait dans l'air. Cependant, la paix de cette nuit de Noël était perturbée par un étrange bruit qui résonnait dans les bois. Le héros de cette histoire, un guerrier intrépide du nom de Aragorn, Décida de partir à sa recherche, ne laissant pas la peur lui faire perdre la tête. Ok, also not too bad. Good. Um, probably a bit more robotic than the other ones, but yeah, let's let's see. Ah, what else? Yeah, I've also chosen a, a premium voice, so you can also choose diff between different voices. And this one has been one of the more... Um... Le héros de cette histoire... Oops, un sorry more of the premium ones. So here Lea, for example, if you choose Thomas, this is one of the cheaper ones. And it sounds way more robotic, right? Okay, now let's listen to the first phrase or the first sentence with each tool immediately after each other. So we start with natural reader. Let's go. Il était une fois, en terre du milieu, au moment de Noël, que la neige recouvrait tout le paysage d'un manteau blanc. Ok, very nice, d'un manteau blanc. Ok, Microsoft. Il était une fois, en terre du milieu, au moment de Noël, que la neige recouvrait tout le paysage d'un manteau blanc. Very nice, and now Speechify. Il était une fois, en terre du milieu, au moment de Noël, que la neige recouvrait tout le paysage d'un manteau blanc. Ok, yeah, to be honest, I have to say, Speechify, at least in French, so probably other languages are different, is not as good as the other ones. So it doesn't sound as good. We can definitely debate between Natural Reader and Microsoft, which one is better. I personally think the output of Microsoft has been slightly better, but that's just my perception. Uh, and it's hard to set up. But yeah, I would say probably Microsoft Asia first second um, natural reader but i'm not completely sure so probably yeah they could come in both at, this, at the same place because microsoft is really hard to set up and uh, natural reader has a way easier interface and it's really just made for this whole text-to-speech stuff but speechify yeah i'm not i'm not convinced uh, probably it's just the language but yeah, I would really like to know what you think. And now, last but not least, if you have an audio file which quality you want to improve, then I got something else for you and it's called Adobe, how's it called? Adobe Podcast. It's part of Adobe Podcast, but it's the uh, speech enhancement. So here's an example. Let's listen to that. I'm in a conference room with the window open and it's pretty echoey in here too. Not the best place to record audio. Yet with enhanced speech, all the background noise. Can you, can you hear that? So you have background noise and it's a bit distorted and now let's listen to it with enhanced speech. Noise and echo is gone. As if I recorded this in a professional studio. I'm in a conference room with the window open and it's pretty echoey in here too, not... That's crazy, I think. 
how it filtered out everything and you don't need to do much. You just upload your file and you get back a file that's, yeah, clean. Okay, now let's upload the Microsoft file. So that's what I did. Okay, enhancing speech, still enhancing and there it is. Let's try it first without enhanced speech. Il était une fois en terre du milieu au moment de Noël. Okay, now with enhanced speech. Que la neige recouvrait tout le paysage d'un manteau blanc. Les feux de cheminée crépitaient dans les maisons et l'odeur des biscuits de Noël flottait dans l'air. Cependant, la paix de cette nuit de Noël était perturbée par un étrange bruit qui résonnait dans les bois. Le héros de cette histoire, un guerrier intrépide du nom de Aragorn, décida de partir à sa recherche, ne laissant pas la peur lui faire perdre la tête. Ok, c'est un peu différent. Donc, ils ont réduit le volume, c'est sûr. Et je pense aussi qu'ils ont coupé les spikes de la voix un peu. So they made it a bit smoother, but yeah, I mean, it's not a big difference. And I already thought that it would be like that. But nevertheless, a small improvement. If you have stuff or audio files that are more distorted, make sure to try out this tool. It's just a small bonus that I wanted to show you. Text-to-speech technology has come a long way and its capabilities are pretty impressive. Probably it doesn't replace a good human reader yet, but it will at some point, I guess. It offers us the possibility to quickly generate audio content from written text, which makes it an ideal tool for language learning. We can even enhance the quality of the audio output with audio enhancement tools like Adobe Enhancement Speech further. But then of course it depends on the quality that we put in. If the quality is already high, then the enhanced speech tool doesn't do very much. And with this technology, we can expand our learning capabilities and create more comprehensible and compelling input. Are you using text-to-speech tools to generate some audio files for learning? And if yes, what are your favorites? Or do you plan to use them in future? Further, if you like AI topics, I've already made a video about AI and language learning as well as ChatGPT and language learning. If you found the video useful, so please give me a like and a subscription to the channel. And to not miss anything going forward, click on the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching and see you the next time.